Hi YouTube friends and a happy new year to you all. Um, I'm sure it surprises nobody that it has taken me a lot longer than I anticipated to get another video uploaded. So here we find yourselves in a brand new year. It's January 2023 and I hope that this year brings you all good things. So for anyone who's new, my name's Ailey and I'm a maker based in the far north of the Scottish mainland. And what can I tell you? Um, I will put in a wee list of where you can find me on social media and the like because I always forget to tell you that. And yeah, it's been a wee while, but I'm hoping that today's episode is going to be quite short and snappy. Um, we've got quite a lot to cover. We have got the 5,000 subscriber giveaway winner to announce and we've got a mal to talk about. Um, the Curry In or Cool Off make along has started. It started a couple of weeks ago and I had planned to have this episode up before it started, but the best laid plans of mice and men gang after glee, as the bard does say. So let's just dive in. Um, I'm not going to talk about what I'm wearing today because I spoke about this um, jumper in my last episode so I'll link it um, up here and also in the description box down below where you'll find um, everything else I mentioned, links to everything I mentioned down there. All my videos are time stamped so you'll be able to like dot backwards and forwards and go to specific bits so if you're really interested in this um, jumper you haven't seen it before then just hop over there and go to the finished objects section and you can find out all about it. So that was a long way of saying there's not going to be a what I'm wearing section and actually the whole episode is going to be a bit different. I mainly want to chat to you about the make along um, because I haven't gone into depth about how to participate in that yet. Um, for those of you who follow the channel's account on Instagram, there has been a post on there and for anyone who follows the community tab on YouTube, there's also a post on there, but I know that not everybody has access to those. So um, let's go into detail a bit about the make along, what I'm making for it, the prizes for it and that sort of thing. And we'll also announce the 5000 subscriber giveaway. So let's dive in. The make along started on the 21st of December and it is running until the 1st of February 2023. You can take part using any craft whatsoever and you can also use a current work in progress as long as it's under 50% complete. And what else? You, I'm quite happy for you to double dip with other make-alongs or crochet alongs, uh, knit alongs, that sort of thing. Um, everything is running over on Instagram. Um, if you're on Instagram, you'll possibly have seen the post already from the channel's account there. If you're not on Instagram or your account is set to private, you can still participate by sending your entries to me via email. Um, so the email address for the channel is thethoughtfulknitter at gmail.com. And um, if you are on Instagram and you have a public account, I've gone ahead and set up some hashtags. Instead of having a really long, complicated one, what I've done is I've split them up between curry in and cool off. So um, there's going to be two prizes. Um, the first prize is going to be for participation and the second prize is going to be for finished objects. So that will be like the main prize will be for the finished objects. So um, for participation, if you post your pictures using the, either the hashtag curry in mal or cool off mal. So I'll put them on the screen. So it's two separate hashtags. Um, and the same with the finished objects, if you use the hashtags curryinmalfo or the other hashtag is coolofmalfo. And I will draw winners from those hashtags. Uh, yeah, I think that's everything. So what I'll do first is I'm going to show you the prizes and then I'm going to talk about a pattern that I've found that it's just perfect for this mal. And then I'll go on to my works in progress and show you how I'm getting on with what I'm making for the make along. So let's get going. 
Okay, prizes. Let's start with the participation prize. So it's the smaller of the prizes. And it's going to be this lovely skein of yarn here um, by the, the Midnight Diary. And this was really kindly gifted to the channel by um, Eva of Perth Festival of Yarn. So this is a, a beaut. So there's going to be this one and it is an exclusive that was dyed for Perth Festival of Yarn this year and it is 425 metres per 100 grams. It's 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon. So it's a fingering weight four ply yarn and to go with that I've got a wee stitch marker from Adventures in Yarn Craft. So this is going to be the participation prize and then the main prize is a wee bundle that I've been putting together over the last year. Um, so first off, yarn. Um, I've got this beauty. Um, it doesn't have a band and I'm going to try and get in touch with the dyer who is Hey Mama Yarns. Um, so she is based in Inverness in the Highlands and she has her own um, yarn shop there and I know that it's Suri Alpaca but she wasn't actually in the shop at the time and um, the lady who was there didn't know the meterage or anything so I will try and find that out for you before, um, before this goes out but yeah it's very 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 soft so there's this, there is also this jolly little bag that I bought because I am making um, a pair of socks that have a rainbow on it and I think that rainbows are very cheerful at this time of year. Um, and inside the bag is a lovely little book that is called The Art of Curry. So um, I didn't know this book existed, but um, it was printed, I think, I think it was initially published 2018, 2019, um, so pre-pandemic. Um, and it just kind of talks about what curry means and it gives you lots of ideas of how to put it into practice. Um, and then just one final thing is this lovely little, I don't know if you can see that, just like a little decoration wall hanging type thing and it's got a, it's got a daffodil on it because I'm thinking that by the time this um, make along is finished and the prize has been um, claimed, the we will be into early spring and the daffodils will be putting in an appearance so that's what you have that's what's on offer to win so i really hope that some of those things appeal to you and that you'll have fun taking part so as you can imagine i haven't gotten very far with my progress because it's only a couple of weeks into the mall and christmas and things have been happening in between times but um I had decided I was going to knit this pattern for the Korean Mal and I have in fact got a half finished object. So I've got one sock which I am very pleased with. Well that's not true. I'm okay. I'm mostly pleased with it. This bit, the colour work, I've never done a colour work sock before. How on earth do you get the blinking thing over your heel? This I mean, I have the loosest flow, so they're, I mean, they're way looser than, oh, I've got ends here as well, but um, they're way looser than I normally would have them, like, I don't know if you can see, they're quite loose, um, but I felt like I needed to do that to get it to go over my heel, because I've got quite a high instep, um, so what I did is I actually went up a needle size and also uh, made sure that my floats were super duper long and loose um, and then I went down back down to my normal needle size for the rest of the foot and I went up a needle size again for this little bit but I didn't make it too loose because it doesn't need to go over my 
heel. Um, but they are looking lovely. I would say that this is very much a product knit so far, <laughs> except the stripes. The stripes were brilliant. I absolutely loved that. They're just um, six rolls each and they flew by. So yeah, it's looking great. So I have another one to do, but I think in between times I might work on something else so that I don't get sick and sock syndrome and it'll be fun when I go back to it. Um, so my plans going forward are, I want to knit the Pelto collar. I'll just show you a picture here by Cote Cotone. Uh, this is it. So um, it's one of these, is it dickies, I think is what people call them, where you wear it underneath your jacket and it keeps your neck warm. Um, so I actually knitted one of these for my mum for Christmas and I'll put a picture in to show you the finished object and it was pretty hard to let go of. Um, it turned out really, really lovely and I've, she's had it on quite a lot on her dog walks and she says that it's keeping her really nice and warm. So my plan is to knit one of those um, and that's going to be my next cast on. I haven't worked on my um, Granny Go Round crochet cardigan yet, but I will. Um, so yeah, that's what I've been working on. But I thought I'd also talk to you about a pattern that I just came across this week that if I had known ahead of time, this is what I would have made. So um, because I've already decided that I'm making the other things, I don't think I will because you can have too many cowls. Um, <laughs> just a wee spoiler there, it's a cowl. Um, but I think I might make it next year. Because I'm quite, I'm hoping that this is going to be an annual um, make along, and I'm actually thinking next year to run it from the end of October through to the start of um, February. So like the whole of November, December, and January. So that's like the actual darkest months uh, of the year, or also the warmest months of the year up here in the southern hemisphere. Um, so I'm going to put a picture in. Um, it is called the Curry in Cowl. How perfect! Um, and it's by Lilith Green um, and she is Old Maiden Aunt who is a dyer based in Scotland. Um, she's been on the go for quite a while, she's very well established, she's got some beautiful muted kind of colours and saturated colours. Um, so yeah, it looks like a really nice project. It is a DK weight project. I think it uses two skeins of DK, two different colours and it's mosaic knitting. So it looks like um, a fancy pants fair oil, but it's mosaic knitting. So it's all slip stitches. Um, so I think this would be a really nice project for anyone who's a bit nervous about trying colour work. Because um, really all you need to do is be able to knit in the round and slip stitches. You know, knit and slip, that's it. Um, so yeah, I wanted to bring that one to your attention because I think you've got plenty of time to get one whipped up in the next month and I'd love to see some because it's just you know it's the perfect name for this make along. Uh, yeah so the final thing that I wanted to talk about uh, with regard to the make along is a recommendation. So if you're looking for something that's gonna give you cosy vibes, if you're wanting to curry in away from the winter and or if you're on the beach and looking for an easy read, um, I have just come across a really fun series of books called The Vampire Knitting Club by a writer called Nancy Warren. <clears throat> she describes them as a paranormal cosy mystery series and they are very light. There is nothing gory or difficult about it. It's by no means a great literary work but it is good fun and it's set in a knitting shop in Oxford in England and um, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> I got a two month free trial of Kindle Unlimited and it's they're all available on there. So I've been um, working my way through them. I think I'm now on book seven. Um, and yeah, they're, they're just good fun. So if you're looking for something mindless um, and cosy and a bit of fun, then I would recommend those. 
So yeah, I think that's everything for the make along. At the end of the video, I'm going to share some footage of some December scenes from around where I live and it'll become apparent why in Scotland we need to curry in in the winter. So I hope you're going to enjoy that. But before that, I'm going to announce the 5,000 subscriber giveaway winner and then I'm going to quickly show you a couple of things I got for Christmas that I think you'll be interested in. So if you're not interested, if you didn't take part in the giveaway and you're not interested in acquisitions, um, just a wee just a wee hint, they're not yarn. <laughs> um, they're something a bit different. Uh, but yeah, if that's you and you're going to leave me now, then cheerio. Thanks for watching. And um, I will see you with a proper kind of normal episode as soon as possible. Firstly, I want to say a huge thank you to everybody who did take part in the 5,000 subscriber giveaway. It was really, really lovely to get all of your comments and I am still working my way through them trying to reply. There were a lot and um, you know how it is at this time of year. It's just been super busy. I have limited energy and I've not managed to get through them all, but I am working my way through and I have read them all. and. And my heart was warmed by them all so thank you so much for all your kind messages um but i'm going to pop a picture in of the prize bundle just so to remind you and i will also put the name on the screen of the winner because i am bound to butcher it because i think it's maybe scandinavian of some description um but the winner is bedstenstreaker I think that's how you see it. <laughs> Bedstin Streaker. Um, so if that's you and you want to claim the prize, then please email me on the thoughtful at gmail.com and let me know your postal address and I'll get that out to you. And now that we're past the new year, hopefully the post will have calmed down a bit and it won't take too long to get to you. So congratulations. Okay, finally, I just wanted to show you a couple of things I got for Christmas that were a lovely surprise um, and are knitted, knitting related and I thought you would appreciate seeing them. So the first one is this adorable little friend. Hopefully you can see her. She is made from Harris Tweed. Can you see that? There we go. And she's made by a maker called Played in Scotland, I'll put it on the screen, um, who makes things out of Harris Tweed. Um, I think she makes cushions and things as well. And she makes these tiny little mice who are all doing different things. So um, this is from a family friend. And oh my goodness, she is adorable. I've not given her a name yet. Maybe you can help me. She has brought me so much joy. <laughs> over the last few days. <laughs> so yeah, I thought everybody would enjoy seeing this little knitting mouse. Too cute. Just pop her here. Where is she? Pop her here. She can keep us company for the rest of the video. So last thing is this book here called Nature's Palette. And I got this from my uncle been a bit bashed in the post which is a shame because it's a really beautiful hardback book. So this is a reworking of a system of determining colours that came from examples from the natural world and it's from the late 1700s through to the early 1800s. And what they did is they would use examples from nature to name colours and to try and um, standardise the, to try to standardise the names for colours. So for example, like this purple here, which they've called lavender purple, um, is the purple that you see in the peacock butterfly wing. So it's really, really fascinating to see how they've done it. Um, and what's different about this modern book is it's also got illustrations from that time period. Um, I would say, I've not had a proper read of it yet, but I would say that it is very much a 
probably Northern European Caucasian book, I noticed that they had a colour called Flesh Red and it is like my skin colour and I'm very pale. Um, but it's fascinating and yeah, I just think it's going to be really, really interesting and it's um, something that artists and things have worked from in the past so I thought it would be an interesting read and there might be some of you out there who would quite like to thumb through it as well. It's definitely a kind of coffee table book. The pictures are just wonderful, they're definitely that kind of, of that period um, when everybody went around the world collecting things and probably causing them to fall into extinction. <sighs> All in the name of science. Yeah. Anyway, it is still a beautiful book. So I think that's everything for today. Um, I have been watering on and talking myself around in circles today. I'm still pretty tired and yeah, I'm going to leave it there. I will see you again as soon as possible. And in the meantime, I really hope that you'll take part in the make along. I'm having fun doing it and I'm really enjoying seeing some of your entries popping up on Instagram already. And yeah, until next time, take care of yourselves, happy new year and enjoy your crafting. Bye. Thank you.